How's it going guys, Jack and Matt here with the Toasty Bros, and today we're going to be spinning a wheel to find out our budgets for gaming PCs. This is our budget PC build challenge series that we've done many times here on the channel and have a ton of fun building really cheap PCs while on a budget. But before we dive into the wheel challenge, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Jawa, a marketplace for gamers by gamers. If you are hunting to build the perfect PC like we are in today's video, or looking for an upgrade, Jawa has you covered. Jawa has an individually curated group of verified sellers that are selling components, even full builds at some of the best prices on the internet. Jawa is aiming to be the community where great gaming gear is sold at reasonable prices between gamers and not scalpers or scammers. Jawa.gg not only has a ton of sellers listing graphics cards at really affordable prices, but Jawa will also purchase GPUs directly from customers to make it the easiest possible solution for selling a GPU. This is perfect for offsetting the cost of a new graphics card by selling your current one to Jawa in a fast and convenient way. If you're interested in joining the best marketplace to buy or sell your gaming gear, check out jawa.gg today, or you can head over to sell.jawa.gg slash GPU. Big thanks to Jawa for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. All right, who's gonna go first? I think um, I think every time I've pretty much gone first and- uh, It works out well for you. I'm, I'm gonna do it. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is figure out my price. Hopefully I can get towards the top of the ladder. I got the middle. I literally got $400. $400? So right in the middle, I could have gotten three, could have gotten five, I got four. So I'll take that. Next up, and it's probably one of the most important parts, what game do I have to run? There's a, there's a wide range of games on this list. Okay, Ooh. Apex Legends. My favorite okay, game. Okay, that game's doable, that is very doable. Yep, okay. Now the uh, FPS. What's the highest, 100? 100. Oh, well, that's not bad. <laughs> Oh, I got 75. Oh, I got 75. <laughs> it was right there. So 75 FPS, Apex Legends. And then what's my curveball? We have some new curveballs on here. Minus $50. Oh, so now I have 350. <laughs> I mean, okay. So originally I had $400, but now I have 350. I'm playing Apex Legends at 75 FPS. So yeah, he has no other actual curveball. He, he can do whatever he wants in terms of parts, mm -hmm. but he loses $50 as his curveball, so make things a little bit tougher to get that FPS number, but it's my turn. Let's see what we can do. What is like, my budget gonna be? Like you always get screwed. I kinda hope I do. I like the challenge. Oh, 450. 450. I got a little more money. 450, nice. Let's go to the game. Can we get something challenging? Like Cyberpunk? <laughs> Cyberpunk, 1080p medium settings. This is gonna be fun, guys. 450 bucks. Um, FPS, please maybe, be like 30. 45, 45 I That's think is doable. obtainable. I think I can make that happen. Uh, but will my curveball make things a little bit more difficult? Let's see. I can do it at 720p. Oh my gosh. Okay, th yes. these are actually both really All right. doable for All right. once. I right, so they are doable. I think that's very doable, but I feel like I could screw this up. Mm. So for me, I have a $450 price point and I have to play Cyberpunk at 45 FPS, but I can run it at 720p. Normally with these build challenges, we limit to a website, but for this one, there's no limitations on where you can buy the PC parts. You can do eBay, Amazon, or whatever, used or new, and try to put together a PC with these parameters and see if we can meet our challenge. Let's go ahead and get to shopping. All right, so what did you end up getting for your build? Well, it's been a few days now, and so, for my build, I got a lot of good parts, in my opinion, for 350 bucks. So in total, I ended up spending 338.26 before tax. Then after tax, it's just a tad bit over 350. And I ended up actually getting a CPU motherboard RAM combo to really make this thing possible. Otherwise, my build was not going to be any good. So of course, I had to get a lot of used stuff. Yeah, this is this is, <laughs> this my... is the RAM, CPU motherboard RAM combo. It looks like. Yeah, which I'm actually kind of excited. I have not seen something shipped in paper before, so that's fun. But it seems like it's like in another box. This was shipped from eBay and it didn't take me too long to find this deal but I will tell you guys there is a lot of CP motherboard RAM combos on eBay and it's really just a toss-up of like what things do you want to sacrifice I mean when you have such a low budget like $350 you have to make a lot of sacrifices what are what do you think the chances of this working are I'm worried about mine working too you know what's really sick IO shield. Oh, it comes with an IO <laughs> shield. I was expecting no IO shield. How much did you pay for this? And what, what were we working so with? So my combo was, I think $51. $51? Yeah, if, I'm, if I wrote this right, $51 and I got an i7-3770K, which is a four core eight thread, Dang. which doesn't sound right. Uh, a DZ77, which 
Basically, I don't remember if this is an OEM Z77, but that is a chipset that I think supports overclocking and it's full ATX. And then I got 12 gigs of RAM, which is kind of odd, but basically it's a eight gig stick and a four gig stick. So okay. it will be dual channel. Um, it's just an odd capacity, but that's not, yeah. So it looks this, like this an Intel like an, OEM board. Yeah. Oh my God, it smells like smoke. Oh Holy crap. Oh. Dude, this is definitely owned by a smoker, Holy let me tell you. That's, that's probably the worst I've ever seen. Yeah, it's a full size board, which honestly does make it cost more. I could have gone micro ATX, but I just felt like this was the best combo I could find for the price. To cool my i7, I didn't even know it came with a stock cooler. I did decide to get the SC214 XT because these things are just a little over $10, the ARGB, and yeah, the i7 and a K processor really needs a big cooler. Now for storage, I really could have saved money, but I didn't have a need to. I got a 512 gig, two and a half inch. Normally when we do these, we'll end up with like a 120 gig or smaller. I'm not gonna have to sacrifice having to put like multiple games on different drives and stuff. I don't even remember how I was able to afford this. I ended up with a 20 series card. A 20 series? So he says a 2060. 2060, yeah. So that's a so it's a six gig card. It's GDR6. Now the one thing that doesn't make a ton of sense, it is going to be running in an older motherboard, but this should be Gen 3 by 16, and that is what this card is. So now obviously this i7 is older. So if I was playing something like Fortnite, I would be worried. I would have gone like 10 Gen and just gotten a much cheaper GPU. But for Apex, a AAA title, if you will, I really wanted more GPU power. And honestly. I don't know if this thing was used for mining. It's not super dirty. It's actually better condition than I thought it would yeah. be. So far, the price performance is there. Uh, for works. his goal, I think he'll be able to achieve it if this works. Yeah. Now, for the power supply, I went very cheap. I got the Aries game AGV. I think this is just the 500. There's a 550 as well. 500, yes. 500. I got the I got the 500 watt, yep, verified. 42.99. There is other power supplies that are like a little bit more, but I did not have that in my budget. And we've used over 500 of these and had no issues, so I keep on trusting in it. Now for the case, I got the Antec NX410. Ooh. This is a mid tower that actually has ARGB and it was $65.99. You know, it's one of those things where I could have not gotten our ARGB and I could have not gotten a basement and tempered side glass. That would have saved me about 10 to 20 bucks. There is no reason to sacrifice <laughs> all those good looks because this build's already going to look a little bit hodgepodge together. But I think if we maybe set all the RGB to like blue to kind of match that board, it could look pretty sick. Now I'm excited to show you my build because my build <laughs> has some stuff that I'm a little sketched out about, but if it works out, it's gonna work out really good. It can't be worse than this, right? So Matt, you had a hundred more dollars than me. How the heck did you make that stretch? 450 bucks I had to spend. Cyberpunk at 720p. Realistically, I could have had less money and probably achieved that goal, 45 FPS, but I wanted to make it overall good computer. So to start, we have the CPU. We went Ryzen 5 3600, ladies and gentlemen, Ooh. which the last time I bought a 3600, it did not work. <laughs> um, buying these CPUs used for some reason, we even got some for PC Bros a long time ago. We had a stretch where a lot work, of them yeah. just stopped working. I actually watched a video from Techia City where he was talking about how these CPUs, people were using like stock coolers with them and in long term with newer graphics cards, they just overheat and die. They have like a weird trend that's been going on, but I got a stock cooler to go with it <laughs> because yeah, I'm, I'm on a budget here and I, I I can't believe I bought this. Go to PC Bros. Tech because we have so many of these coolers. It's exactly Ooh, what you think it is. New in box. I like these boxes though. We need boxes like this. This is efficiency nice. at its finest for <laughs> Literally shipping. Literally glove tight. My motherboard is a Gigabyte B450M DS38 which is a refurb off of yeah. eBay. I saw that white box, man, and I'm like, that's a refurb. This is the white box special, ladies and gentlemen. I paid $74 for this one. At least it has this. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, they don't come with IO shields. We got the IO shields, we got the Wi-Fi paddles. Looks okay so far. Not too shabby. I'll go ahead and open it up so we can verify, but something is wrong with this CPU socket. I'm scared. Okay, so do you see, me, do you see what I'm talking That's about? thermal paste. All right, so look at my CPU socket. I'm probably gonna have to go over that with a toothbrush before we um, do see, anything that with just, that. That just sketches you out because you're like, how refurb is it? Like, did they just put a CPU in and they were like, There's it so works? There's so much thermal paste in there. I'm scared. That's a big gamble right there. It's a big gift. Ram. Just went with the new stuff. Only 16 gigs, DDR4, 30, 200 megahertz. I mean, mm. can't really beat it. It's fine, does the job. Uh, I paid $33 for that. Storage, 500 gigabyte NVMe drive. A little screw rattling around I'm in jealous. there. Uh, 30 bucks. The graphics card is one, I honestly almost got a 2060 and it mm. would have been unoriginal, but I found an RX 6600 Lite, one of the Ooh, Lite cards. With the two ports. Yeah, so it has two ports. And I paid, how much did I pay for this one again? 139. It literally only has two ports and oh my God, this thing has been through it. Look at, look at the crust buildup on this. <laughs> I think it'll work really well. It's just a matter of, will it work in general? I'm still questioning that because everything, it just seems a little too good to be true. 
And then for the rest of the stuff, obviously, I just kind of went new. Uh, we got a Thermaltake Smart Power Supply. I could have gone Aries Game if I wanted to, but Thermaltake Smart, they are how much? $39. But then we also have a case that we just used in the build guide. This one actually comes with the RGB fans. This is the Matrix 40 with the RGB fans. You might remember in that build guide, I said, I ordered the wrong case. Three RGB fans, they're RGB. They're like static. I um, can't really do much with them, but it's lighting and 450 bucks. Can I play Cyberpunk at 720p? Well, we're about to put both of our systems together to see if I can achieve my goal and see if Jax can achieve his goal and then go from there and hopefully, hopefully everything works. Let's do it. All right, guys, we are now in Cyberpunk with the Phantom Liberty update, and we are at 720p, per my requirements, medium settings, which I'm gonna turn off any sort of upscaling. We don't get upscaling, we don't get it. And we're actually gonna dive into the game. I'm gonna hit continue, and I, again, I think I have to hit, what, 40? 5 FPS or something like that? 720p. 720p. I think we're gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. I'd be kind of shocked if we don't. We might actually even bump it up to 1080p just to show you guys what it can do. And here we are getting 82. Oh, it's, it's not as crazy as I thought it would be, actually. Yeah, it's actually close. It's close. 70 to 80 FPS on medium settings with no FSR or anything. We have not dipped low 45, but we'll go run around and, uh, you know, mess some things up. Yeah, these are this is my car now, gangsters. Yeah. Oh, what do you have? That's a machine. Oh, there, oh no, not my car! <laughs> I wanted that car! Hey! Dang. Get out of here. For the fun of it, I'm gonna switch to uh, 1080p because that's what a normal person would run with this build. 1080p. Mm -hmm. right, we're gonna take a drift. Ugh. That car helps Oh a bit. god. Whoa, did I just you do drugs? Oh, what the heck? Oh, you can take that thing? Oh, let's go. I can take anything in this game. But yeah, guys, not bad. Just for curiosity, I'm gonna turn FSR on just for the sake of you all being able to see what it could do with FSR. I wanna see if it... Yeah, so it's not bad. Definitely an improvement going FSR 1080p. It all re depends on your CPU. In a game like Cyberpunk, which upscaling is a big selling point because they just go crazy with the features, it, it seems to make a difference. So Cyberpunk's working great. Now we're gonna go ahead and see what Apex Legends is like on Jackson's PC. All right, guys, we are playing Apex Legends on my PC for 350 bucks. And uh, as you guys know, I gotta play 1080p. I'm just doing medium settings. I did disable NVIDIA Reflex, which does tend to help with latency and stuff. And we'll play around with some settings in a little bit, uh, just so we can kind of see, you know, multiple aspects. But first, we gotta see if I can actually just do the base challenge. Can you hit, hit some wingmans? That's the ultimate Wingman challenge here. with the freaking triple take. This is crazy. So far. Far. It's looking all right. So far looking good. Yeah, I'm curious to see what the NVIDIA Reflex really does. I never pay a ton of attention in Apex, but um, yeah, we're utilizing everything pretty pretty well right now, actually. And yeah, GB's about 70% usage. I don't think I have CPU usage on there, so <laughs> oops a daisy. So if we're not at a full 100%, we're definitely a little bottlenecked by the CPU, but the Apex is a game that whenever we test like, you know, these combinations of new and older hardware, it seems to balance out and work pretty well. Oh. Yeah, yeah, there it is. Teach you to shoot me. Hey. That's two cracks. Oh, hello, Bozo. Oh, God, he turned Oh. I forgot. It wouldn't mess with reflex. Yeah, I want to see what that does. It normally just gives you, it's like a latency thing. So our latency should be under like 10 for sure. That's a little, isn't that more FPS than before? It, it's, it is a little more FPS. Teammates, <laughs> Good job. Well, that was Apex. So now we're going to have Matt test Cyberpunk on my PC at 720p and see if it can actually maintain over 45 FPS. All right, guys, we're on Jackson's PC. Hope oh, this might break it. I, I didn't break anything, nice, good. All right, guys, we're on Jackson's PC. We're gonna go ahead and dial in our settings here. So we're gonna go to a medium preset. 
We're gonna turn off any sort of upscaling. We're gonna scroll down, that's on low, that's fine. Get rid of some of these highs and go to low, medium, 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 low. Okay, everything else is looking good. Again, no upscaling. I'll leave the FOV the same because I didn't adjust that um, on my PC. And yeah, we're gonna see what this thing can do. Right now, oh, we're at 1080p. We need to do 720p. <laughs> my bad, my bad, 720p. Give him my handicap. Yeah, give him the handicap, here we go. Okay, so we're at 70 and some combat. Ooh, 85, okay, okay, we're, we're climbing, we're climbing. Look at that, it's not bad. Yeah, we're not like yeah. pinged at 100%, so we're actually holding pretty good, and I was just staring at that car and it hit 90 FPS, <laughs> let's freaking go. So I'm the one to take this big rig out, and now I can. We can really test you now. So look, this is this is pretty good, 720p. The latency's definitely climbing, but that's okay. I, yeah, 720p, I think this is playable. I think it is. I wonder if this will be another one where like 1080p will kind of keep it the same. It might be the same. Look at this CPU is creeping to the 90% range. <laughs> I need to know. Or somehow magically I'll, better. I just want to see what percentage the GPU is actually at with this. Let's say about the same. CPU usage is the same. GPU just went up. Yeah, it just went up a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. The latency is definitely higher. It's definitely higher. Yeah, the, the, that frame time latency is definitely higher. So, not ideal. This thing is this thing is fun. Here we go. You don't, oh, even, you don't even have to get out. Oh, of all the way. yeah. I would say 1080p is definitely tougher. Yeah, we're at, we're actually getting at like at times definitely close to like 30 FPS instead of our 45. Oh god, the cops are on me. Hey, it's cool to see that um, <laughs> we can make this run. This is 1080p, 720p was working just fine. But yeah, guys, now that we've tested all the PCs. We're gonna wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, so we both actually reached our goals, which is really awesome. And these PCs actually turned out looking really nice. Yeah, the combos worked really well. The performance was solid. And again, this is the first time we've actually been able to achieve both of the goals that the wheel has challenged us to do. So that's always fun to see. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this series, let us know down below. We love doing these kind of budget build challenges because it allows us to get a little creative with our budget builds and have to be able to work within certain price constraints. And I think we did a really good job here. And let us know down below if you would have done anything differently. So of course, of course, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Both of these PCs will be for sale at PCBros.tech with a one-year warranty, so you got nothing to worry about. PCBros.tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and so much more. If you use code TOASTYBROS2 and check out, you'll save 2% your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye.